What's up guys, Gary Walker here with walkerfitmuscle.com. Welcome back for another video. Today I'm gonna show you how to build bigger legs fast. So let's get busy. All right guys, before I get into the actual exercises, the actual workout, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Also make sure you click on that little bell icon. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video. All right, here's the thing. I've been training people for over 25 years. 25 years, one of the biggest things people want is a way to build muscle quickly. Here's the thing. This technique I'm gonna share with you guys is one of the best methods for putting on mass fast to any body part. It's giant sets. Giant sets have been around a long time, yet they're pretty tough, they're intense. So a lot of people don't do giant sets, all right? At the end of the day, when it comes to building mass, everyone thinks all you have to do is lift extremely heavy weight. And that's completely opposite of what you need to do. Heavy weight is gonna get you stronger, but not necessarily bigger, more muscle. To build more muscle, you wanna increase the time under tension within that working muscle, the overload stimulus within that muscle, and also increase intensity and volume. So that's one of the biggest keys that come along with doing giant sets. It does all of those things. Also, it drives lactic acid into your legs and lactic acid pulls growth hormone. So when you do giant sets, you're getting more hormone, growth hormone in your body, and that is key, crucial, ideal for building more mass. All right, all that being said, basically what giant sets are, four or more exercises back to back to back, no rest in between. So we're gonna do four different exercises for legs. We're not gonna rest at all. Just transition from one to the other, from that one to another, from that one to another one. So we're doing four exercises with no rest. Here's what you wanna do after I do this fourth exercise. I'm gonna take you through one set, show you what it looks like, but then you're gonna rest about 90 seconds to two minutes. Typically when you're doing giant sets, 90 seconds rest is what I recommend. However, legs are large muscle groups. It not only taxes your central nervous system, it gets a ton of blood flow, ton of lactic acid into those legs, but it's also gonna fatigue you a lot more. So you're gonna be out of breath. You'll notice while I'm explaining these exercises, I will be out of breath. So it's a lot harder to recover from. So that's why we're gonna recommend two minutes. Two minutes if you need it, and you get to do it all over again. Basically, I'm gonna recommend three or four rounds of this. So do two, three, or four to get optimal results. Here we go, first one we're gonna do, I'm gonna use weights for this one. You can do body weight lunges or weight lunges, whatever you need to do to challenge yourself. But I'm also doing reverse lunges. So alternating reverse lunges, let me show you what this looks like. Nice, full range of motion. Nice and slow as well. Make sure you're utilizing good form when you do these. Don't want you to get injured at all. This one is really gonna target those quads. You'll notice your quads working when you're doing these. You're also getting your glutes. The farther you step back, the more glute activation. The more shallow your step back, if you're barely stepping back and driving down, you're gonna notice more quads. That's the other cool thing with this exercise is some people want more glutes, some people more uh, want more quad development. So whatever your goal is, you can alternate by the depth of your step back. From here, we're gonna do a hamstring exercise, dumbbell RDLs, what I'm choosing for this one. Hip hinge movement, get your glutes back. Keep the dumbbells as close to your body as you can while you're doing these. You wanna shoot for about 10 reps of these. All these exercises, let's go 10 to 12 reps of each one. Same with the reverse lunges we just did. 10 to 12 reps of each leg, okay? What was that, it's two more, I already lost count. Let's do one more just to make sure. I've got them all. Boom, all right. Straight to the third. For this one, we're gonna do heels elevated. About a one inch plate, elevate the heels, rotate the toes out slightly. And this is gonna be heels elevated goblet squats. Four, 
So five more. Yeah, you'll notice, again, you can hear me breathing heavy. That's also beneficial for fat burn. So you're building muscle and you'll be burning fat as well. Last exercise, sumo squats, but body weight. Sumo meaning wide, feet wide out past shoulder width, toes rotated out, really focus, take it as deep as you can and contract your quads on the way up. When you're doing body weight squats, go here 20 to 25 reps. This is your finishing exercise on each giant set, which is why we're only doing body weight. The emphasis on the heel elevated goblet squats was more quadricep. This being wide sumo, you're gonna feel more glutes and adductors inside of your thighs. Do a couple more. And boom. All right, so all of this would be one set. Again, about two minutes at most, 90 seconds to two minutes. Take a breather, collect yourself, do it again. Another break, do it a third time. Again, even up to four times, depending on your fitness and conditioning level. But all right, guys, comment below. Let me know what you think of this workout. Also, if you've ever done giant sets before, comment with yes in the comment section. That way I know that you're familiar with this and it's not a forgotten technique. But other than that, guys, that's all I got. Get busy, get after it, God bless.